Guys, I'm back after a six hour car ride, so I don't remember what I was doing. <laughs> but yeah, we just, um, oh, Rebels. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we just, uh, get straight back into it. No need for a fancy introductions. I don't remember what I was doing. Who do I have truces with? Prussia, Austria, Switzerland, Thuringia, Thuringia, I mean, uh, Wartenberg, Wartenberg, and Aragon. So it's not bad. I have a few people that I could go to war with. Uh, I'm thinking of either the Zionids or France. I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking maybe I could go to France. Do I have, do I have cores in anywhere other than Russia? Which people have suggested declaring war on Russia? Russia's a good ally, folks. It's not. I'd rather not be at war with them if I don't have to. I'd, ra I'd rather be on their side. But, um, let's see. I can go, with, I can go to war with France. When are these cores going to pop? These cores are going to pop in the 16, 1700s. Alright. Where's my revolt risk? Alright, just for the record, folks, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the game. So, you need to take that into account. As if we're getting close to the end of the game. Ugh. Roll my mm. The closer you get to the end of the game, the, um... Uh, the less, obviously, the less time you have to, um, to do things. So we need to send a diplomat to Rome as soon as possible. And not a diplomat, a, um, guy, a missionary. We need to send one to Rome as soon as possible. Don't need those guys, I just need missionaries. Come on, missionaries. Oh, now... now Athens becomes... Um, different... Uh, whatever. Let's see. Let's see what these co colonies are doing down here. We've got... This one. Which is nearly finished. Yep. Alright. Let's so build a fort. And you build a level... Four, four, you can't because we don't have any magistrates. Alright. We'll do it later then. I'm, I'm trying to think either Zionids or France. I'm thinking France, to be honest. Or maybe even just Burgundy. Just because they're, um. It might even draw France into the war. Yeah, why not? Burgundy. Alright, menu. Save game under Let's Play. I'm going to go to war with Burgundy real quick. If it draws in France, it's just all the easier. Maybe even we'll declare a separate war in France. Let's see. If we'll definitely go to war with them. Call in... Uh, we won't call in our allies. Alright. I do... Let's see. Let's see... France. Hmm... Let's see. We'll, yeah, we'll do that. Alright. So, Burgundy... And France, alright. That's it. It's all we're at war with. No one else joined. Alright, let's get rid of the leaders in the in this area. Because we don't need them on these armies. We need them over west. Any there? Nope. No no leaders there. No leaders there. Alright. Oh, and I forgot to bring these guys home. Alright, you go there. You go there. Alright. Or rather, you go there. I'm not sure what I'm going to take in this war. I'm thinking maybe Navarra. Maybe Navarra. Vizcaya. Maybe, I don't know, maybe Toulouse. We'll see. It's going to be a pretty easy war, I think. All things considered. Give these guys some leaders. Well, give you a leader. Yeah, we gave you a leader. Going to give you a leader. Give you this guy. Yeah, they got the same last name. I'll just assume they're brothers. These two, the, to these two generals, it's uh, Alexandros Las, Lascaris and Georgios Lascaris. So, I'll just assume that they're brothers or something, and you go there. And you don't have a leader yet. You take this guy. You guys don't have leaders yet. You take this guy. You take this guy. 
All right. Which one are you use heading south? Don't head south. Actually, head there. Brabant broke their alliance with us. All right. I don't care to be honest. They're a useful, um, useful nation, but and they're still at war with France. So, and they actually have cores. No, they don't have cores in French land. I thought they did. Oh well. Oops. Oh, Switzerland. You keep declaring, you keep sending spies to us? Ugh. They will never learn, ever. You head there. You head there. Brother, you head there. Alright. Discover spy against France. But, you know. Alright, now that, okay, France is joining the battle in, you know what, you just keep going there, actually. They've got a general, right? I mean, I, yeah, they have a general leading their army. And you go there. Now we're losing the battle. We won't as soon as these guys arrive. Actually, we're still winning. Oh, Sardinia, they're... Ugh. Can't wait till I just take them out on land so they can't support that massive navy. I catch them there. There we go. Catch them while they're... Trying to retreat. I need to be careful because I wasn't quite prepared for this war. I went I went into it without really thinking about it. Just on a whim, more than anything else. Ooh, hoo hoo hoo. Are they going to no okay. You guys support there. Support is needed. Alright, now you go both you guys head to Civil Way. I can win this war, it's not like I'm in danger of losing, but I need to... I did start it kind of haphazardly, without really thinking about what I was doing. Which, I mean, I'm not, you know, regretting that at all, it's just... Just a fact that I have something, you know, what I did. Wouldn't necessarily consider it a bad thing, because uh, they might have gotten more alliances or something if I waited, so... I'm not complaining that I waited. So, let's see. So, you go there. To Bourbon. Take out the. Alright. They're headed 6th of March, 7th of March. So, there we go. Now you stay there. Now you assault this place. And you head there to dis dissuade the French from going there. Alright. Alright. So we won that siege. You guys, you guys head up here. You head to Bjorn. Please hurry up. Ooh, we won. Interesting. Head on to Navarra. Follow them. We need to uh, make sure we uh, finish them here if we can. We'll get their way after them, but whatever. Get rid of your leader and give it to the other. Give it to the other army. Oop, no, give them the leader. There we go. All right, now we want to siege Charlois very quickly. Take our money that we were investing in stability. Invest it in land, maybe. Yes, in land. I want to take that. I want to get the next level quickly so that I can. Make sure to uh, be ahead of the game for a while. If I'm, if I'm ahead of the game, then you know no one can really um, bother me that much. Alright, we will just barely beat them to Navarra. Just barely. With much more morale than them. Come on, please win the siege, come on. Please win the siege. Alright. Yeah, we're winning this battle pretty easily. What? What? Ugh. 
Alright. Oh well. The natives are going to be a problem in colonizing, so I won't worry about that. I'm used to natives by now. The natives in there. Shenanigans. Alright, now let's annex them for only two for only four infamy. Then send our merchants to their trade center, which is actually pretty poor. Only trading in these, these three places, but you know what? We're gonna make it rich. As we as we do with all these trade centers. This is gonna expand. Like uh like all of ours have. And we've taken over several dying trade centers, like Liguria was was kind of dying. We took it over. Now it's thriving. So with any luck, we'll um, you know be able to take it over and you know uh, improve it. You know. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Now you guys wait to the end of the month, and then you're gonna head there. You guys are an neck. You could easily siege this place very quickly. Ah, get corn to book. To book. Won the siege of Armnak. All right, now head there. So I'm thinking from this war, might be a good idea to take Navarra, Viscaya. Maybe Cantabria. Uh, we'll see. I haven't quite decided yet. Let's look at the forces. Yeah, they have only 50,000 infantry left, 80,000 cavalry, and 10,000. Um, oops. And 10,000 artillery. Oh, we won either way. Alright. Alright. I think what to do. Okay, you siege this, and we can win the siege pretty quickly. Look at the fort level map mode. These are all level two forts or level. These are level. Okay, that's level one. So you actually go there. I don't need you there. It'd be easier for you to just go there. All right. Now you siege. Yep. There we go. Okay. You siege here. See, they just can't keep up this level of military with the kind of damage we're doing to them. We can make major inroads against them, actually, if I am willing to take the infamy hit. Maybe even make them release a few nations. I'm hoping England will um, pounce on them and take out these English provinces. I feel bad for England. They've you know been kind of down in their luck the entire game, so I feel a little bit bad for them. Not too bad, but a little bit bad. We'll conquer them eventually, of course, but, you know. All in due time. Of course, they've still got these men down in... Oops. Oh, no, no, no. Ugh. They've got, still got these men down in Sardinia who are just... Kind of wasting away, to be honest. There's not much to do. Head to Nemour. Nemours. You siege this. Ho hopefully quickly, yep. Hey, look at that, we've occupied most of France at this point. Why don't you head there? You guys move to Cantabria. You guys siege your scale real quick. Hopefully win the siege. Yeah, you won, alright. You guys head north. Majutine becomes reformed. Oh, that's one of our provinces. Ugh. That's annoying. I think I might just have to give up on the whole missionary thing. The whole converting thing. Just because it's not worth it that much anymore. Actually, why don't both of you siege Cantabria? I don't need all that many armies up north. Go to Vindy. And you guys siege this. I'm predicting a good many wars with France in the near future just to um, weaken them even more and more and more. Do I have an infamy advisor? I do, okay. I need a better one, though. 
because he's only level f only level five. I need a better one. So one, two. All right. Soon we'll have enough cultural tradition to to get one, and we are under siege by French peasants. Interesting. Not entirely unexpected, but but interesting. Uh, much thanks to the guy who suggested the uh, 2,000 men per legion, because it really does, or the, you know the expanded legions, because it's really it really has made a difference in my um, game. See, look, look at that. Uh, trading through Charlotte has already expanded. It's already huge, you know, all through this area. It's it's cut into Genoa, of course, but you know that's bound to happen. And eventually we'll take Ile de France, you know, Paris. This was all trades through Slavonia. Even part of Bohemia trades through Slavonia. So, you know, we're just really raking it in. We could even build a new center of trade in Rome, but I don't want to do that just because it would uh, split up our trade even more. I'm not going to build any, I'm just going to conquer ones that already exist. That trades through Barcelona, that trades through... Lisboa, we're gonna get to both of those eventually. If you look at that, uh, Aragon annexed much of much of Portugal. And we've won a huge victory against France. I obviously haven't taken out their colonial empire, but I think in the future um, I might do that, just because. I mean, look if you look over here, they've got hu a huge amount of land in North America that I could take advantage of in in Florida. Um, in, like Florida would be a nice place to have. Fluoride de, de Sud, Fluoride de North, Appalachia, Alabama, West Florida. I'm just looking around here. I'm um, looking for the places that I've been. Uh, I've been to most of these places because, you know, I live here. So I'm, you know, just looking around. I've been to, like, pretty much all of this. Well, not down here, but I've been to all, like, that. Actually, for the, to be completely honest, I've been to all of America. I've been traveled quite a lot. Only thing I'm worried about is that look at our the English colors and the Roman colors are kind of similar So I'm afraid that if I border them, it's gonna be a problem. Oh, Russia's actually sending troops to France interesting Didn't really want their support. I mean I wanted it like a name, but not really in um, Actuality, but we are sending now troops to Paris itself So you know, that's interesting. The uh, Roman sacking of Paris. Never thought you'd heard that, hear that, did you? Now let's hire this infamy advisor. Oh, he's level 5. I hate that. Er, grr. Why couldn't he be... Um... Level... Um... 6. I, I guess the level 6 guys are rare, but... Even still, I wish he was level 6. And they're asking for a white piece, which they will never receive. Not in these conditions. Yeah, they still got their men in Sardinia, which I'm not going to worry about. We're nowhere near to losing that siege anyway. I want to take Paris, at least, before I declare peace with them. Oh, and Russia declared peace before they even got a single battle in. Thanks, Russia, for nothing. In actuality, they are a good ally, and I don't want to um, piss them off or anything. They're pretty cool. They actually have helped me quite a bit, just in nothing more than name. You know, done a lot for me. Now, let's see what I could take now. I might not have to siege Paris. Let's see, I could take all these for six infamy. Putting it to eight. Bierne Le Bar Le Board, um, for ten infamy. Toulouse for 12. And I'll take some money as well. A lot of money, come on. Fill my coffers, there we go. Okay, maybe release a few nations, no. No, okay. Alright, now look at that, look at that. We now stretch to the, we now have ports on the, um, Atlantic Ocean. 
That, I would argue, is pretty darn cool. The Roman Empire stretches from Babylon, you know, uh, Baghdad, all the way up to the Atlantic Ocean, as it once did. Actually, you could argue that it stretches all the way down to here in, you know, Southeast Asia, which it does. It does stretch all the way down to Southeast Asia. So I think that's pretty cool. I really like that. Now what, though? We gotta burn our infamy off for a little while, of course. Fix all our troops, get them back to where they should be. See what, let's see what the worst uh, revolt risks are. Okay, you go there. 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 You go there, you go there, and you go there. Alright. So our vote risk are pretty bad now in some places, but it's going down. And it's not too bad. And we've expanded quite a bit. And maybe now we could go into Spain, but I want my infamy to drop down a little bit before I do that. I would hate to go to... Oh, look at this. Pretender Rebels, just a control of... Uh, Barcelona. But I think once my infamy goes down a little bit, I might go after Spain. Because, you know, Hispania was owned by uh, the Roman Empire. You know. Ioannis the... 16th? Yeah, 16th. Okay, so is he a, a royalty? Because... Um, that's interesting. Why would, they, why would he be the 16th? Um, I'm gonna hire him. I can't hire him. Or can I? No. Actually, I'm not. That's interesting. And the Yoana should be spelled with an I, actually, not a Y. If we're gonna be correct, um, Latin slash Greek. It would not, it would not have a, uh, it would not have an I. I mean, it would not have a Y, it would have an I. Because the Latin alphabet did not have a um, a Y in it, I don't believe. The Palatinate annexed Alsace, so there's a few German powers. There's Ansbach, there's Palatinate, a pretty decently strong. Um, I guess the Netherlands are kind of considered German. And of course the... I mean, they're in the German issue. Like, if you look at this, they're right next to the... I should say the whole Roman Empire, not Germany. But, yeah, they're right next to Germany, so I can I kind of consider them German. And as, as well, the Bohemians are not German, but I kind of consider them a German power because they're in the HRE. So. Not much longer until we can dismantle the HRE, though, so that's going to be it's gonna be a fun day. Let's see what we need. We need to, to dismantle the HRE. We need uh, to annex the electors. Or just remove the amount of members of it. If you look at it, it's really kind of just like a figurehead now. There's not much, not much you can really do, especially with the actual Roman Empire, kind of you know at its borders. I, like I've said, I I would imagine that, that kind of undermines their authority a little bit. And I'll cut government investments just because you know why not? We're really just, ugh. We're really just blazing ahead in land tech. When technology in general, we'll be level at level four, level four, level five after this. But I'm not. I don't think I'm gonna do that because, oh, Ireland's still kind of close to us. But I don't think we're gonna build Fort level five because after that, at that point, it just um, oh, I'll take the infamy. at at um Fort level five. It's actually considered a special building. I think you can only have two special buildings in each province, so only in maybe like. Constantinopolis, maybe, where we've actually already built some special buildings, so we can't do that. Never mind. You can only have one high-level building in a province, so... Yeah, you can only have one of these, like, in this level, in a province. But Constantinopolis does not have a level 4 fort, so I might as well build one right now. Alright, let's see. Persia actually could be next. So we have a core on them, on Armenia. And we might, you know, we might as well. In a bit, though, I want my, I do want my infamy to. Speaking of Persia, 
I do want my infamy to fall down just a little bit before we do that. Speaking of which, I need to get these generals out of here. They're completely useless to me over in the west now. So here's the order I'm thinking, maybe. Um, this is just speculation for now. I'm thinking maybe Persia, and where's their capital? Their capital is in uh, Khuzestan. I'm thinking we'll probably over a period of few wars, like we'll gain like you know a line up here of land, then maybe maybe Abril, Sherazor, Kut in this place. And then the next war in a few years after that, we'll just move you know advance that the frontier up a little bit. You know we'll see we'll see how it goes. But and then, and then we'll be in Persia. If we conquer all of Persia, we're bordering the Qing, which is China. Imagine that, folks. The Romans. Oh, look, there's the uh, Qin now as well. There's the Qing, the Qin, the Ming, the Xia, and the Wu. That's a lot of Chinese um, nations. That's four Chinese nations that exist. The Netherlands and France have colonies up here. That's really weird. I don't... I do not comprehend why they would ever need that. Those just seem like completely useless provinces to me up there, but then again, I am going for Southeast Asia, so... But I guess those are pretty profitable in the long run. When will I get a core on this? We'll get a core on Banton in... 1706. Alright. So my infamy is already lower than 11, and I've been talking for most of it with the game paused. So if I really just did a lot of, um, just waited not that long, we can get it down pretty well. Ugh. All of the religion changes are annoying. We can change the slider. Alright, so let's go more towards... Gosh, there's not much I really need to go toward now. Aristocracy, I guess. Maybe I could start moving towards plutocracy. Let's see. I'm going to start moving more towards... No, well... Plutocracy. Ooh. Useless, but he's nice. Ah, Bjern. Nice. You got a bunch of armies stationed around here now. Ah, so lost a war to... Canaan Borno, which I'm... Yeah, they lost a war to... Uh, an African name. Look, look at that. They lost a war to someone with Lantech 11. They have Lantech 31. You know they must be hurting. Zionists have Lantech 25. So no one can stand up to us technologically. We're way ahead of the curve. Just above and beyond. It's a nice feeling, folks, to be the best in the world. It's a nice feeling. Ability increase. All right, and now we will invest in land, of course, because we want to keep even more ahead. And eventually, we'll get the, we're gonna get these blue, these um, new types of infantry at level 43, which is a ways away, but you know, we'll get there eventually. And naval trade. We're ahead in every single part of. Um, Uh, technology, it's just crazy. Now, who do we have tru uh, truces with? Hold on. Who do we have truces with? We have truces with Prussia, France, Austria, Switzerland, Thungia, and Wetmerberg. So who could I go to war with? I am thinking... Ugh. I am thinking Persia, actually. But, uh, I'm, I like focusing on the West, because... The East is going to be so easy, especially later in the game, that, you know, it's a mild challenge to go West now. But going East, we get Atlantic Advance. All right, now go to, I guess, production for a few years. And we'll, um... We'll see, folks. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. The East would be too easy. I mean... Yeah, too easy is not a bad thing, but but I'm out of time, so I'll give you a little just brief look over our empire. Let's look at it. We stretch from 
Cantabria in northern Spain, all the way to Babylon in and or not Babylon, Baghdad, which I'm not sure if Baghdad is Babylon, maybe it is, I don't know. Maybe it's just a modernly named ba uh, Babylon. But anyway, so he stretched all the way from Cantabria, Cantabria, whatever it's called, in the west to Baghdad in the east. And if you want to go te be technical, we actually stretch to Majertine. And we'll eventually connect this by land, I hope. And if you want to get even more technical, we stretch all the way to Damak. Which, you know, is Roman cultured. It's Greek cultured, Byzantine cultured. So, speaking of culture, our culture does stretch pretty pretty uh, heavily now to a lot of places. But I'm out of time, folks, so I'll leave you with a little picture right here. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time.